All right, guys, welcome back. This is our last egg cutting of the year. Uh, this is egg uh, clutch number 16. This is another clown pied clutch. Same male as the last one, a super orange dream yellow belly fire uh, clown pied. And it was bred to a pastel, I think it was a pastel clown het pied. So we should be getting all clowns in this clutch like the last one. Um, and then we should hopefully have a little better odds hitting our clown pies. We had 50% odds in the last one, and we still didn't hit 50%. Now, we're not having a great, great go of it, of hitting 50% uh, odds in our clown pied clutches uh, historically, which kind of sucks. Um, you know, obviously, you like to hit, hit the odds if you can. And obviously, I had some better odds earlier in the year on my lightning pied stuff so you know i guess it evens out once you're going throughout the whole entire year but i prefer if at some point we got some better odds at hitting the clown pods so let's see if we can do that in this clutch no leopard in this one so we'll see how these guys will turn out well, the first one's a pied clown pod obviously um, actually, you know what, this, let me check the record. I, maybe this was actually a past a pied head clown. Yep, that was wrong. <clears throat> so it's a past all pied head clown female. So everything's going to be pied head clown at the worst or uh, clown pied. And I think this one, the head is completely underneath there. So you can't see it. But this one looks like it's just a plain pied combo. Um, you know, assuming that the ID was correct on the mail when I bought him, everything should be Orange Dream at the very least. We'll see if that one moves a little bit <clears throat> by the time I'm done cutting the other ones to see if I can see any more. But judging by the little bit of the head that I can see, it looks like it's just a plain, plain, um, plain old pied, which... Kind of stinks. I thought I was getting lucky. I was like, oh, my first one's a clown pie. Nope. Because I was wrong. This was a pied female, not a clown female. So you win some, you lose some. But let's hopefully get better odds here. I, I would think most people prefer to hit... Um, you know, would, if you're breeding clown pieds and you don't have two double visuals, that you'd prefer to breed, get all clowns that are het pied versus pieds that are het clown. I think most people prefer that. No. I'm lucking out here with the way these snakes are oriented in here. Um, these are very high white pieds or very high white clown pieds, but I can't find the head in there. Look at that. No. No head in there. Let's see if that one rotates a little bit by the time we're done cutting these. Really, it would be really nice if some of these snakes were like right side up. But yeah, I would assume most people would prefer to breed um, and make the visual clowns versus making the visual pieds. I, I kind of, I started off my uh, my breeding career is being very heavy with pied stuff because that's what I preferred. Um, it's just hard. I mean, obviously there's still a lot of room for pieds. And there's still a lot of people buying pieds. It's not like I'm I'm telling you you can go wrong with having pieds. I just think that there's more um, desire, <laughs> more more people are, are kind of using clowns and, and, and working clowns into different things and honestly i think the biggest reason for that or one of my one of my thoughts is that the high white pies just i mean it sometimes it works and sometimes it really hurts what the animal looks like um so i you don't get that issue in clowns oh man here's another one where <laughs> I have no, I mean, it looks like a neat snake. Um, the pattern looks a little strange for it to not be clown, but there's no, absolutely no, I don't know why I'm not seeing heads in any of these. Why they're all kind of like tucked, tucked underneath. I wish one of these would pop its head up a little bit. Let's see, 
Looks like it popped, nicked a vein in the egg there, too. Yes, I'm cutting these the day after I shipped all those snakes out. Let me tell you, I don't, you won't be able to see it, but like, <clears throat> from the time I printed out all the labels in the morning and separated all, and got all the right box sizes and put the, the snake bags, um, and labels in with the individual boxes, um, it, and then the, the three hours it took to pack everything up at night and then get it to the FedEx hub and get home. I think I spent like four to five hours doing all that yesterday. It was like 16 boxes and like 45 animals. Um, and after doing it, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'd ever do that again. I think, you know, having these sales or like around Christmas where you're kind of trying to push everything out the door at the last minute, I was sort of like, wow, I don't know, maybe try to plan it differently or, you know, Christmas was at a weird time this year and Black Friday was at a weird time where it hit on a, um, like the very tail end of the month. So this one's a clown, but you can't see much. You see that a little bit right there, but I can definitely tell it's a clown. So we get one clown that I can see. Maybe one of these other ones will move a little bit more. Well, these things are very, nicking, nicking a lot of veins on these eggs. It doesn't usually happen. Um, but yeah, like it's like, it was like so, took up so much time yesterday. Um, I don't think people realize like how much time it takes to do this stuff too. And when you're buying and selling snakes, you're, um, you know, just worried about the actual physical price of the snake, what you're buying it for, what you're selling it for, all that sort of stuff. But you also got to realize that, you know, there's a lot of time that goes into packing and, you know, there are a lot of people that don't market their snakes. Um, I do spend a lot of time marketing them and selling them and making videos. So that, you know, by the time you actually sell that snake, uh, you know, what are you actually getting for it? Like, how much, what are you getting paid per hour to sell that snake after you spent hundreds of hours, you know, cleaning and hundreds of hours, um, you know, marketing and, and, and all, and, you know, dealing with customers and dealing with people that are kicking tires and wasting your time. And, you know, you deal with all that stuff, you know, trying to breed and sell snakes and it adds up. And, you know, when you spend six to five, four, five, six hours shipping stuff out, I mean, it's a so much of your time and believe me there's I have a, it's a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders knowing that I shipped out so many snakes yesterday and it's done for the year because it did it took up a ton of time yesterday I can't tell I'm trying to let's see buddy this one looks oop, this one looks like a neat neat little clown there you can see that that one looks really pretty and these are these veins are like Oh, what's going on with these when I'm hitting them all? Very veiny. That one's a cool looking snake though, so we'll see what that one looks like when it comes out. It has a really nice head. These all look to be very high white though. I don't have like I hit that one in the last clutch that was had a nice um a nice amount of pattern on it. But the other two were like super, super, super high white. These all look to be very high white. I don't really see a whole lot of uh pattern on it except for this one, but Hopefully, maybe this last one will give us a little better look. I'll try to see with those other snakes if I can try to get their heads out to see what we're looking at. Let's see if there's any. Any pattern on them? But anyways, yeah, I mean, this it's time consuming. You got to factor that into it when you're, <clears throat> um, you know, purchasing and building out your collection and you know I, it, I've been this is I'm basically wrapping up my sixth year doing this and you know what I've decided to breed and kind of fell into project wise has changed a lot over six years and it keeps keeps kind of evolving and <clears throat> you know one of my main projects now is the black exanthic hypo pied and the lightning clown pied and those weren't projects that I was into in the beginning, and they weren't even projects that I really aimed at doing, but I hit such good odds on them 
and I produced some animals that were so unique that I was basically like, oh, well, I mean, this is my thing. Who's producing these? Who isn't producing these? How rare are they? What are the odds of me hitting them? All that factors into it, and, you know, it made me change my mind in terms of what um, my projects were going to be. There's a little bit of neck there. This one looks, if you can see it right there, uh, this one looks like it's probably clown, judging by the pixelation. But again, just like not getting any, <laughs> any head, I mean, they're like wrapped up in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it. Coax any of these out. Was this the one that I thought was a clown? It's so strange that they're all upside down. Oh yeah, this was the one that had the... You can see right there, there's that little eye patch. <clears throat> so I got two clowns for sure, possibly three. Let's see if I can find the head in this one. It's crazy that they uh, are able to bury themselves in here so much that you can't see. I don't even remember the head is in that one. <laughs> this one doesn't have a head. Hmm. Well, that one's inconclusive. I do not know what that one is. This one. Can't see the head, but if I had to guess just by just by that there, I guess it probably was not a clown, but I'll reserve my right to change my opinion later. Let's see this one. This one has the best the best patterning. If you can see that in there, but Let's see if I can see a head. No head. This one has the best coloration, it looks like, but can't see the head in that one either. So it looks like I potentially got three clowns out of it. Uh, so three clown fights. We'll see. I mean, hopefully this one, maybe I hit four in it. It's just hard to tell because they're all, <clears throat> they're all white. Um, it's easier to tell when you're working with a clown head pied. Um, because they're either a clown or they're a pied or a clown pied and it's easy to tell with the patterning on the snake obviously uh, when you're working in this direction when everything's pied uh, you have to basically be able to see the head to determine whether or not it's a, a clown so we'll see you know we got six everybody looks healthy so it looks like we got six more so we got uh, six from this clutch I got seven in the last one but I actually shipped one out uh, to one of my Patreon members, uh, the one that didn't have any eyes because uh, Rory, uh, he likes to take on misfit snakes. So he actually shipped out to him yesterday. So I'll have six here and six in the other clutch. I'll probably be keeping at least one from the other clutch since it was hatched on my birthday. Um, in terms of what we get in odds here with females and stuff, we'll see what I end up keeping uh, all together between both clutches. But yeah, there'll be... Uh, and some of you were asking about the other clutch... <clears throat> None of these are going to be available until probably the start of the next year. Um, they haven't even shed yet, so and we can't ship anyway. So they're not going to be available until the very end of the year or the beginning of next year. Um, and, you know, just watch my channel, watch my Instagram, keep updated on them, and we'll see you guys next week.